Maria Catano is next to go, 35 years of age, ranked 189th in the world, representing Portugal, team rider for Portugal with Phoenix Tatinio, 12-year-old stallion, Lusitana, Caroline Olivia, her groom. And this will be her third world championships. She rode in uh, Normandy and in Tryon. And this, the horse she took to Tokyo. Yeah, an experienced rider, recently a mother. Can't see a baby on the sand, but I know there is one. <laughs> <clears throat> but I think she kept riding pretty close through her pregnancy and uh, coming back now to the sport. Quite a young horse. And she is a very elegant rider. She had a, a lovely gray horse a few years ago that some of you would remember her probably more riding. Family steeped in uh, history riding history in Portugal. Now, even though these lovely horses and the Lusitanos now, you know, have so much scope, there's been so many uh, uh, good horses, Lusitanos coming um, out of there and being successful actually on the main international scene. Their scope has become bigger walks have got better I mean everything is is really they're exciting because they can join uh, and match and they always have a, a, a very big following and a big fan club because they are characters some very nice crossing again showing that he is supple you know if your horse changes rhythm and the trot becomes smaller or tighter in these half passes again you're you're actually like almost saying to the judge, I've lost the cell carriage or the horse isn't supple enough. Again, the correct way of halting where the horse has to step forward. Three, four, fifth step. Again, just a little low in the pole. We really need more forward with the frame again for the overtrack, so. When the neck comes a little bit over the bridle, like you could see there, then when you're not opening the horse, uh, the overtrack doesn't come as far across there. The overtrack being where the front feet land, that the hind feet can come over there, and extension, you're looking for two or three hooves over for the really top ones. Yeah. And now she allows him more uphill, and then the weight comes more back. You can see from the side there he's sitting, and very often with young horses, younger horses, um, until they're strong enough, when they sit um, like that, the transition to passage can be a little bit more difficult because that involves a lot of strength for them to push to get out into their passage. Nice relaxed walk. Not the biggest overtrack you can see there. So again, if you were looking, look at where the front feet's landing. Hind foot is just over that track. So he has a small overtrack, but not for the high point there. But you know, finding the perfect horse, whether it, whatever breed, um, is, is, is a lifelong's work. That's what we're all trying to do. So some horses are here because they've just been beautifully trained. Doesn't matter so much whether they're Escopi as the top ones, but there's still a lot of horses here that have got good temperaments, have been nicely ridden, nicely trained, and they can still uh, be up there if they can be correct. And she tries to transition again. That's where he just gets over the bridle, so we can see there the nose comes right down behind the vertical. Makes her life a little bit more difficult then to come out, because he can't push, because he's not going uphill. So, you know, you've got to make sure again, you know, we're riding in double bridles. You know, when you want to raise the neck, that means you've got to take that on the snaffle rein. You've got to be careful, you know, as you're riding along that you don't end up uh, with too much of a double handful on both reins there. Yes. Yeah, she makes the nine two two ten p. 
So those do not have a coefficient of two on them. They are like to get you through your canterer into the most difficult part. Now an extension to help you open the horse up if your horse has become uh, a little behind you. But it's actually quite a well-designed test to help the horse. It gives it the energy through the extension to now come to the zigzag. This does have the coefficient of two on. And we're looking for the three strides left. Quarters leading to the left, lack of bend to the left. Yep, more supple in the trot than the canter, you would say here. But he looks to me like in his in his trot work, he carries himself uh, in a lighter, that's said more uphill and lighter, uh, one tempies. So there, good placement. So that's a rider that knows the length of their horse's stride. They're not going to get eight because they didn't, you know, they don't go the whole diagonal. But it was very nice to watch where she placed it. She started on that quarter line and finished on that quarter line. So you've got to be able to canter on the, yes. Now there she brought him on his hind leg. Lack of bend on the way around. So that left pirouette matches her left half pass because you could see the difficulty in the bend in the half pass which then we saw in the pirouette. And then she has him more bent right, like she did in her half passes. And it's interesting, because yesterday I was saying, I find, you know, like most people bend more to the left than the right, but we are actually seeing uh, a, a mixture here at, at these games of riders who have better bend one way than the other. And, and probably that's to do with them as well. Again, extension, what rhythm loss at the end there, you can see. That last extended trot, especially when you're getting to the end of a Grand Prix, can very much, you know, like the horse is a little tired, you know, and then you push too much, that's when those rhythm losses can happen. And here we want to see the hind legs more engaged. You can see as he comes down the middle there, his hind legs come further back. Traveling there quite forward, but again, you've got to ride what you've got. And I, and I think Maria is certainly uh, an experienced enough competitor to feel he was lacking the energy. She probably could feel that in the passage herself. And it is 70.404, 25th place, and uh, pretty close there, 69.348 up to 70.7, 71.739. So Maria Catano, Phoenix, the video.